In the name of God Almighty, the most gracious, the most merciful, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, may the peace of God be upon you. It is an honor to welcome you all at the Mediterranean Award for Diplomacy 2014, presented to His Excellency Dr. Jamal Sanad al sawaisi Director General of the ECSSR Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research. We start this event with an introductory remark of His Excellency Dr. Dr. Jamal Sanad al Sawaidi, and I'm honored to address it on his behalf. And the following is the address. In the name of God Almighty, the most gracious, the most merciful, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, may the peace of God be upon you. In the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you. Uh, you are in your country, the UAE, and at the ECSSR where uh, amidst this great support uh, to the ECSSR by the President of the UAE, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al-Nahyan, may God protect him, who believes in the value of education and the advancement of the nations. It is the journey that the peoples of the world have gone through and uh, uh, the Crown Prince of the Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, uh, the Chairman of the ECSSR, to carry on with the determination. This is the methodology, the track, and the journey of the nations in tracking strategies and taking our own decisions. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express my appreciation and thanks to the Fondazione Mediterraneo and Mr. Michel Capasso, its founder, and the members of the institution for presenting the Mediterranean Award for Diplomacy 2014. And from my own place, I would like uh, to commend this uh, foundation and its uh, role since its inception in the year 1991, which focuses on promoting peace, dialogue, and rapprochement between peoples. I would like to uh, uh, commend its efforts in honoring uh, VIP figures, intellectuals, researchers who contribute in a positive role in promoting the culture of peace and encouraging dialogue between civilizations through the prizes that this foundation is presenting to the uh, people, such as the Mediterranean Award for Diplomacy and the Mediterranean Awards for Institutions and the Mediterranean Award for Civil Society and the Mediterranean Award for Culture. And uh, in this occasion, I would like to express my appreciation and thanks uh, to these people, esteemed people from the intellectual and cultural world who have been keen on attending our event and participating in giving this award, which is considered one of the most important awards in Europe and the Mediterranean, where a number of intellectuals and cultured people and the presidents of the states have been given this award, those who have participated in encouraging dialogue between nations to uh, restore peace uh, and prevail peace and encouraging humanity all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the culture of uh, appreciating the efforts of others is a very important factor. It emanates from our culture and Islamic religion to encourage uh, those who exert all the efforts in appreciation of other people's efforts in building the societies and uh, uh, giving them uh, force to uh, express further or exert further efforts in developing the societies and depending on national uh, powers. The culture of uh, uh, giving awards is a very important characteristic in developing those who exert all the efforts in appreciation for people who are committed as a basic for the creation of the Federation since its inception by the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan. And uh, he was keen on consecrating this methodology. Uh, the president of the state may God protect him, Sheikh Khalifa, and with the follow-up and the efforts exerted by the Crown Prince, um, uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, the Chairman of the ECSSR. 
ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, to give me this award for Diplomacy 2014. It makes me feel proud and appreciated and increases my enthusiasm for exerting further efforts. And this is a great impetus for further accomplishments in the future and gives me the trust that I am walking on the true path and journey. And from my position, I would like to ascertain that this award, it, it is an appreciation for me, for my uh, efforts, but it lays on uh, me great responsibility to exert further efforts, which was the basics of giving me this award and in achieving rapprochement between peoples uh, through what is known uh, by comparative diplomacy uh, built on uh, creating uh, culture and knowledge in uh, creating these events and uh, promoting the cultural and intellectual and scientific research, which is considered part of the work of the ECSSR and consecrating it in the Emirati society, especially in the Arabic region in general. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, uh, at the end of my speech, I would like to reiterate my thanks for all those who participated in this event uh, in my own professional life. And I would like to thank uh, Dr. Abdel Haq Azouzi, the academic and the researcher and uh, from uh, Morocco, who have uh, attended a number of strategic and developmental committees, and Dr. Horia Benklon for uh, also coming to uh, participate in this uh, occasion, wishing everyone all the success. May the peace of God be upon you. والآن يشرفني دعوة الأستاذ ميشيل كباسو رئيس المؤسسة المتوسطية بالجمهورية الإيطالية لإلقاء كلمتي فليتفضل مشكورا سير يو مست ويلكم ذا فلور از يورس Buongiorno a tutti. Welcome everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Sono estremamente commosso perché I am honored and I'm very happy. To welcome you all. I would do. So I would like to say that uh, I was a founder of this uh, foundation and uh, our founders will said uh, in April last year that he wanted to visit Abu Dhabi, the city. So he came here and he was 86 years old before he died and he said that this award must be granted to a prominent figure from this country so he was also a co-founder of a very important military school where uh, our Italian ambassador here in Abu Dhabi graduated so he was also the president of the jury, and he was expecting that uh, this award would be granted to a prominent figure from the UAE. So also, this is 
historical moment. I would like to shed uh, light on this moment with our, uh, during our meeting with Mr. Jamal. Now, in Rome, millions of people are gathering. Of course, the Pope is there. And uh, there was uh, the canonization of uh, uh, John Paul II and uh, another uh, pope. Also, they were uh, canonized, and uh, we focused also on uh, their role, the role they played in the culture and uh, civilization. So, our Fondazione Mediterraneo was always uh, working on this uh, issue. We were also invited to St. Peter's Square in Rome to meet uh, the Pope and they told me why are you leaving this uh, event and going to Abu Dhabi and I said that I am uh, taking this award uh, to grant it to you. I am very honored to present it to you because you built peace and you organized events, cultural events, and you are exerting uh, tremendous efforts in order to build peace because you can transform the power into love between uh, people and into friendship. You are being friendly and this serves peace and dialogue between civilizations. I am very honored today. I'm very proud and happy. And I am also, I feel deeply moved to be here among you to grant you this prominent award to such an important figure uh, that is an honor for the UAE and for the world in general. Dr. Jamal Sanad Asuidi is a very important thinker. I read uh, some of his books and writings and I saw through our communication and through the social media that he has a lot of important ideas. Dr. Jamal is indeed one of the most important thinkers in the world in the 21st century and he is capable of predicting in cooperation with uh, the Fondazione Mediterraneo that uh, was um, that started working in 1991 and uh, became one of the most important international organization and takes into uh, gives a great deal of importance to the Arab and Islamic world. So now we have an effective cooperation that serves the interests of the two regions, the Arab Islamic region and uh, the other region in order for us to be able as Western region and Arab region to lead uh, the uh, globalization, the new form of globalization and to be able to continue our mission. Uh, Dr. Jamal is an honor for his country and for the Gulf countries and Arab countries in general. So he was working with us our, ever since our, the inception of the, uh, our foundation, 1991, and we did some great work when the EU started to draw the uh, cooperation between Europe and the Mediterranean region and uh, they gathered between all the uh, countries on the, in the Mediterranean region. They knew that they cannot draw the history uh, through only writing words. This was a historical failure. We need to expand uh, uh, this this in order to uh, encompass also the Gulf countries because they had a lot of cultural uh, 
works and they would worked on uh, achieving a rapprochement between civilizations and they also were able to uh, avert a lot of wars. So we need to work in the Mediterranean region with the UAE, which is considered a very important uh, reference. I visited this country in uh, 1980s and I noticed uh, the hospitality of uh, the Emirati people who are able to understand others and to give and uh, to be partners to others. I was really stunned by this hospitality and when I came back I arrived actually yesterday to the UAE and I noticed a big, a huge development and also I noticed that this hospitality and this openness is still intact and I was really positively surprised when I met um, Dr. Uh, Jamal Sanada Suwaidi. I saw that he is a thinker, a very important thinker who is positively contributing from his country, from the UAE. He is contributing personally to this international order. We are all working, in fact, together in this new international order. That encompasses a lot of uh, prominent figures and I spoke about that in a gathering the UN uh, lately. There are some politicians of second degrees and there are thinkers of first degrees. I said that in one of the sessions of the United Nations. We need to cooperate with the thinkers who are from, uh, they, they are considered to be very important, such as uh, President Gorbachev. Politicians now think of other things. How can they talk and be able to communicate in this international world? And Dr. Jamal is one of the pioneers of this field because he was able, through exerting tremendous offer, efforts, to tell us the story of the importance of strategic partnerships and relations between people who need to uh, achieve these uh, strategies and partnerships. As a Fondazione Mediterraneo, We work with 500 cultural organizations and institutions in the world and we cooperate with them. It is indeed very important now while uh, the uh, Pope John Paul II, who is being canonized today, he wrote at the end of his uh, days, he wrote a lot of uh, words. Of course, there are the, a lot of important books uh, and uh, holy books uh, such as the Bible and the Quran, but there are also other writings who are very important. When a person writes the history of his sufferings, the person who suffers has a certain point of view to life, which allows other people to understand what needs to be done. So in this context, Dr. Jamal was able to unify the suffering and the thinking. He was able to gather both, which led to a very important uh, result, and not only important uh, for his country, the United Arab Emirates, but to all of us. And we are grateful for the role he played, for this very effective role he is playing. It is truly very important. 
he is transmitting to us his future vision or the future vision of uh, His Highness uh, Sheikh Khalifa, President of the UAE, and the vision of uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, who together or both have a very important futuristic view. They built this country and they were able to achieve a lot. Dr. Jamal today is a symbol for peace, for dialogue. That's why the Fondazione Mediterraneo decided from its headquarters in Napoli, which is a big city the size of uh, Jerusalem and New York, so we decided to award him this token that was prepared by the sculptor, uh, sculptor Mario uh, in 1995. This token was uh, put in our embassy uh, in the presence of the uh, ambassadors of all the countries. This token was... Uh, presented in uh, this uh, and uh, and his uh, son is here with us Morilari and uh, they uh, were able to keep this token safe and to preserve it and in uh, Monsiatella in this military academy uh, another uh, or another uh, a version of this uh, token was presented and they decided to keep Dr. Uh, Jamal this token which is considered to a very important achievement from uh, the artist uh, Mario Molinari. So Dr. Jamal, it is our great pleasure to give you uh, this original uh, token from this artistic work. It is a gift to you and to the people of this country, the people of the United Arab Emirates, this developed country. I am saying this honestly and frankly. I haven't lived in this country, but the people of this country can live actually in peace and development in order to contribute to a better future and using uh, their uh, fortune and their wealth in building a future which is not only based on economic wealth but also on uh, civilizations and humanity. Dr. Jamal, you are indeed a man with a very important role. You are a model for these young people. You played a role in our cultural history since 1980s. And I noticed this development today, and I would like to salute you in the name of the Fondazione Mediterraneo because you deployed such tremendous efforts. And I would like at the end to salute Professor Abdel Haq. And uh, because we worked together, uh, we worked together for long years in um, Morocco and in Napoli, Italy. We work uh, together in culture, and we worked also uh, in Mediterranean uh, culture in particular. So now, at this important time of the European history, after a few days, uh, the European elections will be held. A lot of uh, citizens maybe feel unhappy with the European Union, who was not able to give uh, enough to the European people, but the main basic remains peace. 
in 1974, we proposed to, for, uh, for example, for Morocco and uh, Turkey to become a part of the Mediterranean uh, countries. We proposed that in 1994. And uh, Turkey is uh, asking uh, to become uh, a member of the European Union, and we support that. Turkey noticed that uh, politics were uh, an impediment to this accession to the European Union. But we need to be today all able to build a better world. And I conclude with this sentence. I would like to say and repeat what uh, the late Najib Mahfouz said when he received uh, the Nobel Prize for literature. So the culture does not create the man, the man creates the culture. And I'm very happy to be here today to grant you, Dr. Jamal, this uh, token, this prize, because you are working on building a big culture and you believe in uh, the partnership between cultures and the dialogue and the friendly relations between uh, the Arab Islamic uh, region and the western region in order to achieve the benefit of ev all the people in the world. I would like to thank you and I'm very happy to be amongst you. I would like to call on the son of uh, the uh, artist uh, Marco Molinari to grant uh, the prize to Dr. Jamal. Congratulations, uh, Dr. Jamal Sanad Aswedi. Congratulations, the Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research. Congratulations to the UAE. This prize is an excellent achievement added to our list of achievements um, for the UAE. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Abdel Haq Asuzi, academic uh, faculty member and head of several strategic and development institutions, both past and present, from the Kingdom of Morocco. You may take the floor, Professor. In the name of God Almighty, the most gracious, the most merciful. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. May the peace of God be upon you. This uh, Mediterranean award 
uh, in its uh, different kinds constitute uh, the fruit of uh, uh, people who have participated and contributed in uh, uh, building the alliance of civilizations and cultural diversity all over the world, and the fruit of uh, people who have uh, worked to consecrate uh, peace and security above all. Uh, Michel Kappa, so I know him personally 15 years ago. And uh, God is my witness that he always held high uh, uh, the uh, token of encouraging the audacious initiatives through which uh, the human civilization is being built, uh, uh, family civilization, the uh, common uh, households are being built. Uh, and uh, along with a number of figures all over the world and amongst uh, the elite uh, of those who uh, are working from the U UN, uh, European Union, European uh, Commission, especially the countries of Euro-Mediterranean, one um, of the most important people who uh, really uh, worked with uh, the French president back then, Jacques Chirac, and with uh, Nicolas Sarkozy, the Union for Euro-Mediterranean in the year 2008. And they have uh, organized a number of conferences, international conferences and Euro-Mediterranean conferences uh, who have been behind a number of plans and development strategies in the Mediterranean world. But the most important uh, thing of what we can see say about the Mediterranean award is that it uh, uh, consecrates uh, people who have uh, uh, given themselves and their lives for uh, uh, a, a mutual uh, uh, life uh, to bring forward wealth. Uh, and uh, the prize and the award in its intellectual part is an appreciation for scientists, for intellectuals, uh, for academics who contribute through their own strategies and through their own writings and through their uh, uh, current uh, intellect and through uh, uh, the institutions that they chair in uh, building a diplomatic uh, a platform uh, which uh, brings together uh, a creation or creativity, intellectual seminars, forums, all of which uh, have been part of Dr. Jamal Sanad al Suwaidi, who is considered a pride and joy for the United Arab Emirates, for the Gulf countries, and the Arab world in the world in its entirety. He is a man, as Dr. Michel Capasso has uh, said. He is a warrior. He's a gladiator. He is uh, uh, a person who uh, brings pride not only for his country, but for uh, the principles that he holds in his heart. Uh, um, he works so hard and is keen on implementing everything what he wants. It is a continuation, definitely, for what the late Sheikh Zayed has established for the United Arab Emirates, and it is a continuation for what the UAE is adopting of strategic developmental policy, intellectually and economically, and within the society, and so on and so on. Forth. And if I can really describe in this great intellectual forum and in this great intellectual wedding, a varied wedding in its entirety, the UAE and this award in itself for my generation and for future generations, the issue of trust and hope, trust, trust, confidence and hope, hope 
uh, or trust uh, is the protector for the institutions. It is a protector for the institutions, for the young people, uh, and it's an inspiration uh, for the peoples, for the work, for uh, uh, a common living. Uh, the, you find this uh, characteristic in the late Sheikh Zayed uh, present within him in the track in the journey of the late Sheikh Zayed because he instituted uh, the trust and confidence between the peoples. The people of the UAE, if there were no uh, uh, trust and confidence, uh, we should uh, uh, really uh, um, forget about the institutions. Uh, if there were no democracy, there will be a schism in the field of trust and confidence. Uh, the institutions will decay and a huge uh, decayance will occur and then the hope that creates uh, creativity, innovation, creates uh, development, uh, trust and confidence and hope, in my opinion, are the most important two strategic characteristics upon which the countries and the peoples are built and upon which the UE is being built and they are both characteristics uh, uh, worked on by Dr. Jamal Sanad al So I did think that the International Committee and the jurors uh, constituted by uh, 43 countries and which have decided uh, to give this award for Dr. Jamal and Swahili. It built its decision on uh, trust and hope held by Dr. Dr. Jamal Sanad al Swahili. We would like to uh, congratulate him, congrat uh, congratulate his family, his small family, nuclear family, and the family of the UAE for this award. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you, Dr. Abdul Haq Azouzi, for your uh, uh, speech and your feelings now with uh, uh, the address of the employees of the ECSSR will be held uh, by the director of the Department of uh, Training. Uh, you have the floor. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, honorable guests, colleagues, may the peace of God be upon you. We received with pride the news of granting Dr. Jamal Sanad Sawidi, Director General of the Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research, the Mediterranean Award for Diplomacy by the Fondazione Mediterraneo for the year 2014, and this as an appreciation for his efforts deployed in order to achieve the rapprochement between peoples and reinforce the concept of a parallel diplomacy based on building knowledge and intellectual knowledge. And we wanted to celebrate uh, His Excellency in order to honor him and honor ourselves for having him. Honorable Assembly, uh, in order to achieve a civilizational excellence, the people must be honored and must be praised, especially when the praise comes uh, from a foundation as important as the Fondazione Mediterraneo and when the uh, award is an award uh, uh, the Mediterranean Award for Diplomacy, and when the person who is honored is an important person such as Dr. Jamal Sanad Assoidi. Here, the, uh, this uh, award takes another dimension based on the value and the basics of our culture, and all of this expresses what an individual can do in order to serve his society and the world as a whole. Honorable Assembly, I would like to thank you all for participating in this ceremony and I would like to present the roses for our honorable guests, thanking them for being part of the ceremony today and I would like to congratulate Dr. Jamal Sanad Assoudi for having received the Mediterranean Award for Diplomacy 2014. I wish you 
all the success, sir, and may the peace of God be upon you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Musafri, for uh, your kind words uh, s uh, that you said uh, for our uh, for the uh, employees of the Emirates Center for Civil Studies. Now I would like to invite you all to have lunch and the employees will help you and lead you to uh, the lunch banquet. Thank you very much.